You know what the Dalish say to their dogs? Take the dread wolf by the ear if he comes. I could tell you a story of the dread wolf if you like. Sounds interesting. Long ago, a clan lived on the silent plains. It was a terrible, lonely place where the sun was forbidden to shine. Their keeper had a coursing hound. They had run down deer and hares and wolves together when they were young. But they had grown old together, keeper and hound, and now only dozed before the campfire, dreaming of hunts. But then the dread wolf came, for the keeper was wise and kind. The things Fen Harrel hates above all else. At night, he tried to steal into the keeper's dreams, to twist his mind and turn him against the people. But even in dreams, the Corsair guarded his master. He caught the dread wolf's scent and gave chase across the fade. Oh, you like that part? Shall I keep going? That's fascinating. Let's hear the rest. Fan Harrel tried to shake his pursuer, but the hound ran as coursers can only run in their dreams. Even the wind couldn't have fled that hound. He ran the dread wolf down and grabbed him by the tail. Fan Harrel howled so loud that the veil shook and even the stars scattered in fear. But the hound wouldn't let go. Neither hound nor wolf gave in. Finally, Fan Harrel bit off his own tail to escape, and away he fled. <coughs> Ever since, the dread wolf thinks twice about playing his tricks when dogs are on guard. <coughs> I'm pleased you liked it. So few animals are interested in Dalish history. He's a sweet dog, Hawk. See you later. Stop looking at me. I, I really don't like all this open, slobbery affection. Be a real pet. Ignore me until you want something and then sit on my head. I miss the pounce a lot. Who's a funny puppy? You are. Yes, you are. Beric, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand, so suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. Ah, there's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? A wizard did it. Well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one, and go! Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready, and we'll head out. Ah, oh, so you are the new partner. A pleasure to meet you. Bodan Fedic, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. 
We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? You aren't worried about venturing into such a dangerous place? Not with such fine protection. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The fabled dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. I like enchantment. <laughs> and he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true rogues. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine woman. After all her accomplishments, may she find even greater success. Ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. Mistress Hawk, Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the Circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. Can I get the details before I agree? There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground and their Templars sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Caras is a Knight Lieutenant of the Templars. A great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. Who's Meredith? You have clearly not been in Kirkwall long. Meredith is Knight Commander. She has changed the rules for mages in Kirkwall. They are less free than elsewhere. Though I dare say she has created as much dissent as obedience. I would not like to see this become a massacre. Thank you. Your compassion does you credit. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the Circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Truly desperate. Please tell me we're not going to force these poor fools back into the circle.
Beatrice Blessing. I thought I was going to die down here in this... this tomb. Are you with the Templars? Please, I need to go back to the Circle. I never wanted to get involved in this. Not when he started making those... those... things. Who is he? Decimus. It was his decision. He kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? He slit his wrist and the magic... It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. Decimus is the leader of these mages. He's crazy. He said with our phylacteries gone, no one could find us. We would be free. I think maybe he set the fire. There must be a demon working through him. No normal man would profane the dead like this. The Templar Thrask is waiting outside. Surrender to him and you won't be hurt. I surrender. Take me to the Templars. I don't want anything to do with this blood magic. The rest of them, they're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. They're here. The Templars have come to take us back to the Circle. Decimus, no! Stay your hand. These are no Templars. What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the dead themselves will meet the call. to me, love. You, you are one of us. But you wear no mark of the circle. How is it you side against your own? Maybe your lover should have tried hello. We're friendlier than you think. Decimus gave us the courage to face the Templars. Without him, we would be prisoners still. If he taught you any of that blood magic, you could have him up and walking in no time. I warned him. I told him once he marked himself as a blood mage, that was all anyone would see. Please, we only want our freedom. Without your help, the Templars will execute us all for Decimus's crimes. If not in the Circle, how do you intend to live? I hear there are places outside the Free Marches where the Templars are not so vigilant. What do you ask of me? There is a Templar who followed us. You must have met him when you entered. Kill him, and we can get clear of Kirkwall, before the Templars send more men. Better the death of one Templar than so many innocents. Will you buy us time to flee Kirkwall? I will do what I can to help, but not at the cost of Thrask's life. If you will not kill him, then you must convince him you killed us. That is our only hope. But I spent two weeks traveling with these Templars. They strike first and think after. They are far easier to kill than to fool. Are you trying to tell me this boy is all that's left of the apostates? I ran away when they began to use blood magic, sir. They are not in the cavern, Sir Karas. I have thoroughly explored- Who is this? I was helping Sir Thrask. The apostates are all dead. Dead? But I asked. You've always been soft on the robes, Thrask. 
Makes me wonder if these demon worshippers haven't gotten their fingers into your mind. Men, search the caverns and keep these interlopers under guard until we see what's in there. You're wasting time better spent tracking any escaped apostates. Seems like you've got something to hide. Show these fools what happens when you interfere with a Templar's investigation. of the Maker, they're dead. I wanted this to end peacefully, not... There can be no peace between the Mages and Templars of Kirkwall, sir. It has gone too far. You did not aid your fellow Templars. Does that mean you're leaving the Order? I suppose my side has been picked. I will tell the other Templars you killed Karas and I came upon the bodies. I will give a false trail to follow. Thank you. And thank you. Please accept this as the only reward I can offer. I dare not carry a staff with the mark of Starkhaven on it now. This has been more than I expected. We must away. As must we. Come, Alan. I'm sorry you were the only one I could save. <laughs> 